All right, this is boring. Some uh, untreated, unheat treated A2 tool steel here. I'm trying to take it out to uh, 75, 0.75 inches, sorry. And uh, right now it's at 0.68 inches. Just moved out uh, to 70. Uh, take it out a little bit more here. It should be 71, 72. We'll see how that works. Got the power feed turning. Engage that. The hand wheel start to feed very slowly. Obviously, we don't want to go too fast to this. There it goes. Had to take up the, the backlash there, but now it's gone. Huh, little ring just popped off on the inside there. Disengage power feed. Back it out. Look at a nice finish that gets in there. As smooth as glass. Give it a check with the. I can't remember what I said I was supposed to be at right now. But 72, wasn't it? 70. This isn't the most accurate way of measuring, obviously. Should have an inside gauge, but we're at about 71. I'll start test fitting here at about 74. I've got a mandrel that I bought from Shars. That's 75, so that's what I'm going for, trying to make a, a gear cutter blank. And then I've got, I uh, guess I may as well explain what I'm doing here. And I made a uh, button cutter uh, for the instructions online that several people had uh, posted. I wish I could remember their names right offhand, but come on, you can focus in on that. doesn't like to focus on that. There we go. That's A2 tool steel that I uh, turned down to dimension for the uh, the type of cutters that I'm going to do. And uh, you can see how they're mounted in there. There's a bit of an angle also cut on the faces. There we go. And I can see that a little bit. That's to give the proper uh, proper approximate a involute um, tooth profile actually the space between the teeth and I left a couple of milling marks on there to uh, indicate when it, they would be turned at 45 degrees in towards each other after I milled them at 5 degrees so we got a 5 degree angle on the, the tool holder and also another 5 degree angle well, about four, four to five was recommended on the uh, the cutters themselves. So there's a total of nine degrees um, cutting angle. So that's what we're doing.
So these are button cutters, homemade button cutters. This is a uh, formula I'm just trying out just to get it started. That's just red. Uh, Oh, red Loctite, so don't worry about that. Nothing bad happened. Um, I'm doing a 24 diametral pitch um, gear here, and this is the uh, number 17 to 20 teeth. And so I'm, I'm just basically following the formula it's using here. I made the cutters, I'm now down to the uh, in feed. So you gotta go in. Uh, Point one zero six. I forgot I had to turn down the uh, the blank to 167 uh, thousandths. That's right there. So I had to redo that. Anyways, I got a lot of distractions too. I got two nice young men tearing the hell out of my backyard doing septic work. So no distractions here. Anyways, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen with this when I feed this in for the first time. Maybe a cutter's a little bit too high, but yeah, I think it might be a little bit too high. I'm going to have to lower that a little bit. Do the trick here. That's not a good idea. All right, that's better. Got it uh, more centered here. This poor camera just can't focus sometimes. It tries really hard, but I wish I could do a manual focus on it. Oh, I forgot to move the tailstock in. My live center, got it like that. Bring that in. And tighten it down, lock it in. All right, that's gonna help. I think I've got it roughly centered and now we're gonna cut. So you may need a little bit off there. So I started at zero on the, uh, on the indicator here. I don't know if you can see that. We're at about 40 right now. Got a lot of oil on there. It's working pretty well. I'm going to feed in a little bit and show you how this cuts. Making a button cutter. Try to go really slowly. Probably should be going just a little bit slower, but it's cutting okay. Just let it cool down a touch. A little more oil. about 53 thousandths in, I gotta go to 106. Starting to vibrate a little bit. Get a little more oil. Generous with the oil. Boy, that's 
vibrating pretty bad. You can see a little bit of wear on those uh, cutters I made. Not too bad though. There you have it. That was 106 thousandths in feed, which is what uh, was specified here on the uh, instruction sheet. And it looks okay. I mean, there's the, the tooth profile. There's a few chatter marks on there. Obviously, it's my first attempt at uh, making button cutters, but uh, I don't know. I think it, it actually looks pretty good from here. It's definitely got the gear tooth profile. I wish it would focus in there. Come on. I don't know what it's trying to focus. There we go. Oh, shoot. If anybody has a good idea for a close up camera, just let me know because this thing sucks for close up work. Anyways, you can see the, the tooth profile there pretty clearly. I'm very happy with this for my first attempt.